Bonjour from Paris. Welcome to the start of this vlog. I am solo tripping it today. I have literally arrived today. It's Tuesday. I've literally just got ready. This is the outfit vibe. I've gone with this Sarah dress. Um, because tonight I'm going to hopefully Pink Mama if I can get in and then I'm going to see the Moulin Rouge show. I do want to take some pics in front of the Eiffel Tower as well. I got here by Eurostar. I've had a few disasters along the way, but yeah, it's going well so far. So hopefully you enjoy this vlog. This is my room. Let me show you. So this is my room. It's just so cute and Parisian. And then look at the view. How stunning is the view? Literally unreal. And then in here is the bathroom. Oh yeah, you can see my outfit back here. Yeah to outfit the day. I have put this bow in my hair, like, I don't know if you can see it, but like, I feel like I just, I'm gonna be standing out like a sore thumb and like I'm really scared. But you girls gotta do what you girls gotta do. Pray for me. So anyway, come along with my little Paris trip. <laughs> So, just finished eating. I think you get offended. So, I never eat the, the crust on my pizza. So, I think he was like offended. He was like, Are you sure you enjoyed it? But, loving life. I can literally see the Moulin Rouge over there. So, there's the Moulin Rouge. That's where I'll be going later. Oh my gosh, there she is. I've managed to catch a sparkling. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay, guys, I'm walking. My feet are literally in agony. I feel like if I had a penny for every person that stared at me weird, I'd be able to afford an actual Uber instead of getting metros and being looked at. But it's a vibe, you know? Pink Mama was so nice though. And I'm on the way to Avenue de Camons. I don't know if I'm saying that right. To take pics in front of the Eiffel Tower. So I've not had any yet. Stunning got the pics with the Eiffel Tower. I just had to whip and try it out and just do it. But there she is. En route back to the metro to see Moulin Rouge. Okay guys, it's half one in the morning. I don't want to talk to you loud because apparently the walls are really thin here and I don't want to wake anyone up. But she's just come back. She's just come back from Moulin Rouge. I didn't know if I was going to like the show or not. But literally on real like, I saw a million boobs. The women, the women are 10 10. The costumes, amazing, like phenomenal amazing like visuals like some of the stuff like there was a point where like a woman got in the water and wrapped around wrapped herself around snakes and i was like whoa like what are you doing i did also have like a bottle of champagne to myself so you know currently i'm living my best life right now this place is so pretty and when I saw the Eiffel Tower, I literally nearly cried. I was like, it took me back because it just appeared. And I was like, whoa, I wasn't expecting that, you know. But it's half one. I'm going to tip my makeup off because I need to be early, up early tomorrow for the full day ahead. I'm going to do some exploring, I think. Can we just, can we just appreciate, appreciate the outfit tonight? Um, yes, so I'll catch you all in the morning. Good morning from Paris. It is just gone 10 o'clock in the morning. I've done my makeup, I'm just leaving my hair like this. I need to get ready, but I literally forgot to bring like something to just throw on me. Well, I mean, this works. But when I got out of the shower and I was like, what do I wear? What do I wear to do my makeup? Because I was freezing. Oh, sorry, how cute, how cute, how cute, sis. 
I literally had about, I think I went to sleep at half two this morning and then I woke up at about four or six because the walls are like really thin here. So the people next door like woke up really early and I could just hear like the doors banging and then I heard the bin man. So I've had like, n like not a proper sleep. And then I've got like blisters. <laughs> I've got like fat blisters all over my feet from my heels yesterday. So then it was like rubbing against like the quilt and it was just, mm, I need to find a plaster for that. But anyway, yeah, so welcome to day two. I'm gonna try and vlog more. I always feel like I'm, when I first start a vlog, I'm always like, it's already choppy, you know what I mean? Bearing in mind, it's only about 12 degrees today, but I've already planned my outfits. Like I can't change my outfits once I bring them, do you know what I mean? And I wanted to wear something nice. So this is what I'm gonna wear today. Cute little white mini dress and you tie it around your neck. And then I was gonna put it on and then I was gonna put my blazer over it and then wear my New Balance shoes. Yeah, and then chuck my New Balance shoes over it. Anyway, yeah, I'm gonna try and get ready as fast as I can because I need to go for breakfast at Carrere. All I've had this morning is one of these that I put in my bag to travel with me. Yeah, I'm going to Carrere. I might have to queue because it's like that famous place where you like whack the cream in the hot chocolate. And then I'm just gonna have a day of exploring. Like, I'm gonna see the sights, like the Eiffel Tower, the Louvre, the Louvre. Oh, and then I'm gonna go to a museum. It's called like, it's called Petit, palace or something i don't know it looks really nice yeah i'm just gonna explore so i'm gonna take you around with me so yeah i'm just gonna get ready so this is the outfit of the day i was gonna put my headband in but it just did not suit me so yeah i need to go what are we feeling how cute is this as well at the back it literally ties into a bow so cute so yeah i'm gonna get going because i'm actually starving and i think i'm gonna pass out if i don't eat so yeah i'm gonna try and vlog as much as i can because i get so nervous in public and i'm just like you know what i just need to stop caring you know what i mean like i don't care but like over here like they stare like they don't just look around they stare and i'm like anyway yeah paris day two let's go i've made it for breakfast at correct paris <laughs> I'm thinking of going for um, it's so funny, it literally took the menu away before I was about to show you what I've got. So I've gone for the famous chocolate with the scoop, um the croissant, because they're supposed to be top tier in Paris, obviously, and some jam on toast. So yeah, let's see how that goes down. The ride got the hot chocolate. Look at that, it's literally like thick chocolate. Cream there. Got my croissant. How cute the popper is there as well. And then some jam on toast. Absolutely stunning. Okay, guys, I've plopped it in in the most un aesthetic way. My, oh my god, this is actually shocking. This is so shocking, guys. I need to give it a good old stir. Just spreading it. Guys, okay, taste test of the hot chocolate. Mm. Mm. Oh my god, it's literally like pure chocolate. So, mini update. I it's one o'clock, and there she is. I have just been offered a job, so. That I've literally really wanted, so I'm gonna celebrate. I literally cannot believe it. Yeah, and I'm just gonna explore, explore around Perry. But yeah, I'm just going to walk underneath the Eiffel Tower at the moment. And then that's the river Seine, I think it's called, or Sienne. 
Um, I'm actually going on a river cruise tonight and I think it's that one, so that's good. Just underneath the Eiffel Tower. Beautiful. It's just walking over this really nice bridge. Don't even know what it's called. Look how stunning. Stunning, stunning, stunning. I'm on my way to Petite Palace. If I said that right, honestly, my French is so bad. Like, I was really trying to learn at home, but I've learned like this kind of like bonjour, merci. That's all I've been saying. And everything else I've been like, sorry, do you speak English? Because like, I'm just, I can't. Petite Pali, we came in for you. Literally just living my best life. Like, oh my God, crepes. I've definitely got to get a crepe later. Crepe. Um, yeah, I'm fully just living my best life right now. Like, this is perfect. And these are the views of Petit Pali. Stunning, stunning, stunning. And even these hallways are just incredible. So I'm now on the way to the Louvre. Louvre? Louvre? See, I don't know how you pronounce these things. I'm not gonna go in though because I've heard it's quite like overrated and like really crowded and that and I'm just not about that vibe, you know. Wow. Right, what was I saying? I got so distracted with the the interior then. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna go in because it's like quite overrated and I've seen like loads of TikToks and apparently like the Mona Lisa is really tiny and I just don't know if it's gonna be worth it. Also, why is it raining right now? It is literally raining. Um, this was not predicted and I don't have an umbrella. Like this is, this is me, you know? So you know, I'm just gonna embrace the rain. But yeah, walk to the Louvre and I wanna walk like on the way from here you can walk through like some really nice like fields of fountains and stuff so that's the way I'm planning on going. I swear I'm not crying. Yeah, that's the mission. I'm freezing. I'm currently at Jardines de Tuileries. Beautiful. Stunning, stunning, stunning. Found it! Bob. Okay, this is as far as I'm gonna go because it's raining and I wanna go in. I need to get ready for tonight. I'm in this really stunning area at the moment. It's got all like the designer shops like Dior and everything. Um, hello? It's probably gonna take me um, a long, long time. Oh my God, yeah. I feel like this area is like very bougie. Like, I'm just manifesting, you know? Surrounding myself with these shops, I'm manifesting. But I'm actually out here trying to find a rubber duck for my niece, like a Paris rubber duck. So don't think I'm really gonna find it like where Dior is, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Back to the uh, tourist cheap shops I go. Anyway, yeah, it's nice to explore this area. It's really pretty, like the buildings are actually so stunning around here. I found the Arc de Triomphe. Oh god, I'm actually exhausted. I've spent the whole day walking. My feet are killing me and it's about five o'clock so I'm gonna get the bus back so I can get ready and then head out again tonight. But yeah, there she is. My feet are actually killing me. I have done 18,000 steps today. Normally, I'm hitting about 500 steps. God, it's just, I've still got to go back out and like, I've literally, like I've packed my days out. So like, I've literally got like two hours to get ready if that and then I need to go back out again. And I'm just like, oh, I'm just exhausted at this point. Yeah, I need like an actual foot massage. That would be incredible. I'm debating. I don't know whether to redo my makeup because I was just gonna like, top it up on my face but i feel like i need to redo it because it's gone all like you know what i mean i'm just gonna have to do it again because it's gone all like you know when makeup's just been on your face all day like i've had tears down my eyes because i get like really bad 
you know when it's dead windy my eyes are really sensitive and they always run so they've been like running down my face then it was raining look at these patches on my head no i need to do my makeup again don't i right cool i need to start getting ready again oh my feet honestly i just need a foot massage